Alrighty then, corn children, children of the corn. It is a fine day for mathematics, and today we are going to be doing approximating an area using a trapezoidal approximation with five equal subdivisions. I know it just sounds like fun. Okay, if you have not already watched my fascinating video on a left ream on sum, you should probably stop this video and watch that one because a lot of the material is the same and I went slower in the first one. So I'm going to go fairly rapidly through this. First thing, this is an area. I am expecting that you can, with a graphing calculator, type this in on the interval from 1 to 4 and get whoop, that region. Yeah, here's my curve. Here's the interval 1 to 4. I'm talking about this region right there. All right, the next thing that we're going to do, and we've done this before, is we need to cut this up, because it says so, into five equal pieces. Fairly straightforward process. Here we go. We take the end of the interval 4 minus the beginning of the interval 1, and we divide it into five, because it said so, equal pieces. So this is 3 divided by 5, which is 0 0.6. So starting at the 1, I'm going to add 0 0.6. Um, these are counting every other space. So 1.6 is right about there. I add 0 0.6 again. I get 2.2. .2. Add 0 0.6 again. I get 2.8. I add 0.6 again, I get 3.4, and if you add 0.6 again, you get exactly 4. I have now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equal subdivisions. Now, let's be clear, we're not using that space over there. The interval starts at 1, it goes to 4, this is not included. Alright? Alright. Now, we need to do area of trapezoids. Let's recall from elementary school, the area of a trapezoid is one half, the sum of the bases, that averages the bases, times the height. However, we're not really thinking height in this case. Our height is horizontal. The bases are the parallel sides and they are going to be the vertical pieces. So, first trapezoid. Here we go. I'm going to write this out. Our area is going to be approximated by... Now, because every single trapezoid is going to have a one-half in it, I'm going to factor out the one-half from all of the trapezoids. The height. The height is the horizontal distance, in this case, between our bases which are going vertical. As it turns out, 0 0.6 is going to be the height, quote unquote, for each one of these. And because every single trapezoid has the same height, I'm also going to factor out our 0 0.6. So all that's going to be left, I'm going to put in all of the bases, base 1 and base 2 for each trapezoid, and then add them all up. So if we look back to the first trapezoid, the first trapezoid has the bases at the x coordinates of 1 and 1 1.6. But the bases are measuring vertically. So in order to figure out how tall this is, I would take the x coordinate of 1 and fill it into the function to get the y coordinate. The y coordinate measures the height. So my first base on this first trapezoid on trapezoid number one is going to be f of one. That is one filled into the function to get the height right there. The second base on trapezoid one will be the height when the x coordinate is 1.6. The height will be 1.6 filled into the function. These are the bases 
for trapezoid number one. Mm -hmm. But then there's another trapezoid. Trapezoid two. I'm going to add these trapezoids up, so I put a plus. Base one plus base two. On trapezoid two, base one is the height at 1.6. So you'll notice it's been used on the left side and the right side of 1.6. Mm -hmm. That's base one of trapezoid two. Plus, base two is the height when the x coordinate is 2, 2. It is 2, 2, 2.2 filled into the function. These are the bases of trapezoid two. Uh-huh, I'm gonna keep going. Then, trapezoid number three. Trapezoid number three has the bases at an x-coordinate of 2, 2 and an x-coordinate of 2.8. So I will take 2.2 and fill it into the function to get the height, the y-coordinate. I will take 2.8 and fill it into the function to get the y-coordinate. That's trapezoid's bases, trapezoid three's bases. Keep going. We have trapezoid four. For trapezoid four, it's the height of the function at 2.8 and the height of the function at 3.4. Oh man, I'm gonna run out of paper. That's our fourth trapezoid. <laughs> Plus, here, I'll extend the paper. Plus, our fifth trapezoid. The last trapezoid, trapezoid number five, it would be the height of the function at 3.4 plus the height of the function at 4. And those are the bases whoa, for trapezoid number 5. Now, if I hated myself, I could type this all in, but I think we can certainly streamline this, don't you? Now, I want you to notice that the first and the last bases only show up once. All the middle bases show up twice, on the left and the right, on the left and the right, on the left and the right, left and right. So what I'm gonna do is I'll double all of the middle bases. So kind of condensing this down, let's see if we can start way over here on the left now. Our area will be approximately, if you wanna change that from a fraction to a decimal, by all means, go ahead. There's the 0.5, the one half from the trapezoid formula. There's the height of each trapezoid. F of one, two of these. Two of those. Two of the next base. two of the 3.4 bases, but the last base only shows up one time. Whew, I can barely get that all on the screen. All right, so at this point in time, it's calculator time. Now we wanna use our graphing calculators wisely. So here's what I'm going to do. Our function is the function 0.1x cubed plus 1. I have gone ahead to my graphing calculator and you if you need to pause please feel free to pause your video go to y equals on y1 I have typed in that function 0.1x cubed plus 1. Alright, I'm gonna go back to my home screen. I'm gonna begin way over here typing. I'm gonna do 0.5 times 0.6. Now I didn't use parentheses I just used the times key this parenthesis we need because it would be distributed. So big open parenthesis. Because I typed our function in Y1 on the calculator, I'm going to put one into Y1. Here's how you can do this. Are you ready? Again, pause the video and go back over it if you need to. I'm going to poke my green alpha key. Boop. 
I'm going to go into the F4 shortcut menu. It's right there. It's above your trace key, so I poke trace. <gasps> Look, Y1 came up. It is already highlighted. I hit enter. Yeah, on my screen, I don't know if you can see that, get a little closer. On my screen, it now has 0 0.5 times 0 0.6 parenthesis Y1. Because it's like a function notation, I will use a open parenthesis, I want to fill one into it, and a close parenthesis. That part, right after that, that is F of 1. Yeah, you just typed in F of 1, calculator style. We need to keep going. So from there, plus, now remember, it's doubled the next one, so 2. Here we go again, the alpha key, the F4 shortcut menu, hit enter on Y1, and an open parenthesis, and our next number we filled in was 1.6. Close that parenthesis. All right, I'm going to keep typing. So I'm up to here. I'm going to keep at it. Next one, plus 2, alpha F4, enter. If you want to pause the video and do all this typing without me talking, feel free. I'm going to see if I can get this all typed in correctly. Plus 2, alpha F4, 3.4. Now remember, on your last one, no 2 on that one. So it's just alpha F4, 4. I closed that back parenthesis, and technically you need to close the last one. You will be forgiven this time if you don't do that, though. Okay, ready? I'm going to hit the equal sign. Enter. And I get 9.51. This is not the actual area. This is our approximate area. Now, on the trapezoids that we put in here, let me bring my picture down. If you were to connect these up and show the trapezoids, it's a little difficult to see. But these trapezoids are technically a little too big. Um, if I were to zoom in on one of these trapezoids, Because our curve is upward, it is what we call concave upward, the trapezoid is just barely above the curve. So I know because of the shape of the curve, it's curving upward like a smiley face. Because it is curving upward, our actual area would be a little bit less than this. So I know that the actual area is a little less than 9.51. So not only do we have an approximation, but we know which side of the approximation we're on. That is trapezoidal approximation. Hope you enjoyed that. Watch it again and again.